Once off the cruise ship in beautiful Bimini, it's a quick walk down the brand new pier to the complimentary tram service provided by Resorts World. This pier just opened to cruise ship passengers in July of 2021. Now, once you reach the tram line, someone will direct you. If you have a shore excursion booked, you stay to the right. If you don't and you just want to hop on the tram and see where it takes you, that line is to the left. There is also a walkway that is outlined with signage and actually just outlined that will take you to Kayak Beach, Fisherman's Village for some shopping or food, or to rent a golf cart or grab a taxi to explore the island on your own. As a courtesy to other passengers, we ask there be no eating, drinking, or smoking on board. In just a few moments, we will begin our trip to locations within the resort. At the end of the pier, as you'll see up here on the right, is where you can rent a golf cart to explore the island on your own. Golf carts are definitely the primary mode of transportation around at least the resort world section of this island. If you're not planning to get off the tram at any of the three beaches that it stops at, I'd still highly suggest taking a ride on it, if not just for the breeze, but because it's really, really scenic. The first stop on the tram was to Beach 360, and the second stop on the tram was Resort World Bimini Beach Club. Um, I'm not honestly sure how much they cost to get into. I just know it was too much for me to pay. So we decided to go and opt with the third and final stop of Paradise Beach, the free beach. But as they say in this world, not everything is free. Today is the last and final stop of our cruise on the Carnival Magic and we are here in Bimini at the Free Beach, Paradise Beach. Uh, it's a free to get into the beach, but we actually paid $74.99 for two beach chairs, an umbrella, and a table. Also snorkel gear if you want it. And I mean, it gets charged to your room. It seems a little pricey if you ask me, but hey, what can you do? Here's what you get. If I can flip the camera, which I guess I can't. But yeah, so you get two beach chairs, umbrella, and a table. Now what's nice, if you don't want or need a, an umbrella, you can just put your towel down, hang out, and chill for free on Paradise Beach. The water in Bimini is gorgeous. It's crystal clear. But the resorts have netting up, so you really wouldn't need snorkel gear because you really don't see any fish. The only fish we saw were the jelly kind. Don't forget, it's jellyfish mating season. <laughs> It is jellyfish mating season. I need to make a very important point about Paradise Beach. There are no restrooms. So if you have to go to the bathroom, the ocean is your toilet. So just keep that in mind when trying to be cheap like we were. And hope to God that you don't have to go number two. There are two vendors on the beach, food and drink, which are ironically from Resorts World, who will not let anyone on Paradise Beach use their neighboring facilities to go to the bathroom. But anyway, there are also people who come around and offer you drinks out of pineapples and coconuts, and they are very delicious. So we decided to go that route and um, get our drinks via them. And they're strong. A little pricey, but strong. On our way back to the ship, 
we noticed that there it was a ferry in the same port as us. It was next to us. Now I did some research and that ferry comes from Florida, from Port Everglades, and it is a quick two hour ferry ride to Bimini. Beautiful, beautiful Bimini. Also you can get here in a quick 30 minute seaplane ride from Fort Lauderdale Airport or from Miami Seaplane Base. Hey, if you're able to do it, I would do it. This island is awesome and I look forward to coming back to it. I would suggest, highly suggest, if you have the ability or opportunity to come here, whether it be on a cruise ship or, you know, on a ferry from Florida, absolutely do it. The water is beautiful. It's great.